Продовжуємо роботу. Ми продовжуємо працювати в Українському кризисному медіа-центрі. І ми зараз дискриміємо Денеде Саус проєкт. Ми маємо Леонід Марушак, юратор в Українському кризисному медіа-центрі, Антон Ініціатив. Ми маємо Ольга Гончар, комунікаційний координатор в UCMC Вайскейп, містер Станіслав Лячинський, директор в International Renaissance Foundation Program Initiative. Today we will discuss the new uh, project which we had already started to implement just recently. This is uh, Dene de South. Before this, uh, almost two years, we uh, spent uh, um, in the east of Ukraine, then we decided that there is a vacuum as to some Ukrainian cities in the south. So we decided to go to Odessa Oblast. There will be two stages. The first stage will be devoted to the studies of the region, select the cities, then we will come home, analyze our primary materials, and then visit uh, five selected cities in Odessa Oblast where we will try to present something. What is the aim of the presentation? During the first stage of our project, we'll define what we will present on the second stage. Our project cooperates with the self-organized Denede um, gr a group of artists, which during two years uh, um, implemented some, some elements of our project. I would like to give the floor to Alexander Dovki, an artist who will describe their previous experience. Good afternoon, I'm Sasha Dovki. DNED has several main objectives and main directions of activities. It's uh, discovering public spaces and the attempt to uh, return to them the functionality, to attract people so that people draw attention to, to draw attention of people there, and we organize uh, different events, discussions, and exhibitions there. The second uh, important uh, uh, direction of work is finding monumental uh, objects of monumental art and attracting attention to preserving them and to what is happening to them. That's mostly monumental art of Soviet epoch because every country survives uh, certain turbulences and many people are treating too lightly such samples of art. Uh, they are getting stigmatized. If that was done in times of the Soviet Union, that means that it is, uh, uh, has, uh, it is uh, um, made by communist system, but these are wonderful pieces of art uh, made by Ukrainian artists who dedicated uh, whole life to that. Uh, What else? We are uh, involved in methodology uh, and the fact that we are traveling to different places uh, leads to creating methodology of different uh, places. We have many texts. Uh, we work with additional materials so that later it's all uh, accumulated into one common big, big work. And then it appeared almost two years ago when we were 
uh, implementing the project the arts residence above God, uh, which started in Russia uh, Cinema Hall. We traveled uh, uh, to many cities and uh, towns, and then the is now supported by municipality of Vinitsa. That's a good example to follow the cinema hall where this was happening is in communal is owned by, is in communal ownership and then and then managed to establish communication at all the levels to get everyone united in the city to start revitalize this object. I believe that then they will work with such uh, object in Odessa region. We worked with such uh, things in the east, and the main thing I would like to mention, why are then their projects of interest? Because then there before we initiate something, we examine the city, the region, and we are using uh, all the local specific features. I would like to add that this project is implemented with the financial support of International Renaissance Foundation. And uh, being a person who participates often in supplying for applying for grants, I know that you cannot find uh, uh, the support when you talk about uh, uh, preliminary visits uh, before uh, some research work. There are many initiatives which are uh, which uh, have the programs uh, before someone goes there. And this case is unique because we can. Uh, preliminary visit uh, the uh, town, uh, uh, get some contacts, and uh, we understand whether it's worth being represented there or not. And I would like to give the floor to Stanislav so that he tells us what the Renaissance Foundation is working uh, with now and what are the plans for the future. Thank you, Leonid. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. International Renaissance Foundation this year has held the contest Cultural Diplomacy for the Dialogue. We received uh, 18, uh, we decided to support 18 applications out of 300 applications which reflects a huge interest to this um, uh, area. And uh, there is an obvious uh, demand, an obvious request for re uh, unification for the union of the country, reunion of the country, and uh, uh, some uh, cultural objects which remain in the periphery of uh, uh, Ukrainian province, uh, they um, uh, feel the need uh, to to be spotted with light. For example, the east of Ukraine used to be such a forgotten area. The south, uh, Transcapadia, Kherson um, Oblast, southern uh, Odessa, Bukovina, these regions remain beyond the focus of attention uh, of other Ukrainian communities. And uh, Ukrainian Crisis Media Center and IRF, uh, of course, will uh, uh, support all these activities. I would like to announce that on July 14th, uh, uh, IRF uh, will hold a strategic session for Bessarabia for the south of Odessa region. I am not sure we will manage to develop some strategic um, solutions, but at least we will measure the scope of the problem, uh, bring together people who are not indifferent to this area, and uh, thus we invite you to Ismail on July 14th. Uh, we'll have our workshop there. 
where we will cover uh, uh, the underlying problems and uh, think about possible solutions. We see cultural diplomacy as an exchange of ideas. That's why we stay open for any ideas and any suggestions which promote exchange um, yeah, which promote dialogue and promote uh, um, mutual understanding in Ukrainian society. Now, um, I would like to add that the south of Ukraine, Bessarabia, is very interesting for me because uh, the intellectual map of Ukraine, you won't uh, uh, find this region. Some people heard about Vilkova, some people heard uh, uh, about the noob uh, 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 etc but my question to me to my colleagues what were your major impressions as of now your first f fresh impressions about the region our first visit to Belgorod Nistrovsky, I I was for the first time in this city during that visit. Before going there, we studied it. Usually we apply the uh, multi-stage analysis. We study the object before, the location before, in course of visit, and final um, conclusion. We found out that this city, Belgorod Nestrovsky, is uh, uh, 2,500 years old, and uh, it bears uh, the features of many cultures. You can see the layers of different cultures represented in this city. And uh, uh, even when you enter the museum, uh, you immediately see that all those layers, the, all those 20 hundred um, uh, centuries of uh, all those 2,500 uh, years of history are represented in best way. And local people uh, know this history. They all know all the stages. And uh, people showed us that in each private house, uh, there is uh, the, uh, uh, the underground, big underground uh, premise. Uh, or behind that big underground premise, uh, there is a smaller underground premise. And uh, there is a special passage uniting these two premises. This is a traditional defense measure, mm, uh, 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 um, and uh, this passage leads uh, to the neighboring house. This was this defense system was used in course of a lot of conquests which happened in this area. So this is like a very old uh, uh, defense and protection system for civilian population. Mm, I would like to add. Uh, I would like to add that in our expeditions, uh, uh, we go to look for something. Very often, very popular ethnographic expeditions. Our expedition is not to find something, but to find something interesting when we are there. And our visit is not just walking around this town, but this communication with locals on some local specific features and meetings with locals, it's not with friends. We go to places where we know no one. We have a very interesting method which Zhenya uses, this communication in the market the market is a mandatory place for uh, research. Zhenya uh, is leading us, uh, and that uh, the market is communication uh, uh, platform. But people don't... Uh, uh, want uh, other people to be concentrated, uh, that don't want masses of people to be concentrated in one place. 
we have interesting methodologies. We go to nightclubs to talk to youth because in the market it's uh, middle-aged people and the uh, places of cultural infrastructure, clubs, uh, museums. If you ask what impressed, what impressed me most was uh, attending Bilgarat Dnestrovsky local museum. It was shocking that the museum is very good, uh, nice museum with good exposition, exhibi exhibition, it's being updated, it's dynamic. But the exposition of the museum uh, finishes in 1969. Everything that's af that was after is not reflected in the museum. And uh, uh, that is all... Um, built uh, on a historic component, uh, but uh, looking at the history of Tira, the Ninkerman, then Belgorod, Dnestrovsky, it's interesting why there's no uh, history after the 60s. Uh, And I believe that it is worth uh, to listen to Olga Ganchar, who's in Lviv now. She will tell us about how we will inform uh, everyone about uh, our findings, and she will tell us about her impressions um, after she visited Belgorod Nistrovsky. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Can you hear me? I'm happy to welcome you. Unfortunately, the sound is very bad. We can guess about some words, but we do not understand the, the whole message. Ola, we cannot hear you, unfortunately. Can you stabilize your comp? Can you hear me? Then I will try from the very beginning. You cannot hear me. Uh, we almost cannot hear you. And please switch off the sound. Where you have a uh, dynamic icon, just switch it off. We will hear you much better.
Okay, I start from the very beginning. Unfortunately, we cannot hear you. Sorry. Maybe the connection is extremely bad. Uh, unfortunately, you disappear. The phrase, uh, uh, we can hear the beginning and then the phrase disappear. I can, uh, I, I can telephone. Thank you, Ola. Um, I think that uh, uh, your uh, communication is uh, um, understandable and uh, uh, it is accessible for everybody so we can see your efforts and your work uh, as communications manager. Um, no Next time, probably, you will be here in this room because, uh, unfortunately, the connection is very bad and we were unable to hear, but we are, th we are very grateful to you. Thank you. And we cannot hear even this. Uh, we heard about hashtag, but uh, no. No continuation of the phrase. So, thank you. This was Olga Ganchalar. She is now in Lviv. That's, I think, it good sign. Then the team, it's not just Kiev team, just not artists from Kiev. These are representatives from all around Ukraine. Before coming here today, we had uh, um, uh, discussions whether we should start this, um, we should uh, announce the start of the project. I think that we should announce such events because such announcements allows us to find further stakeholders in the regions. When we visited uh, Belgorod Nistrovsky and announced uh, our uh, and posted uh, uh, our visit in um, uh, uh, social networks, uh, immediately many people offered their assistance and Zhenya uh, Molar had found he, her old friend uh, Yuri. Uh, this Yuri uh, knows uh, infrastructure of uh, 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 this region uh, uh, because this Central Culture Club uh, um, has a tradition of visiting surrounding villages. That's why he has a huge experience in uh, commuting to all those uh, uh, distant places, and we found a lot of interesting places there. Um, uh, we have a stream. Um, and uh, not so many journalists attend such events. They first uh, uh, watch them uh, in stream. So in future, we would like uh, to have the continuation of uh, this event uh, for discussion. We do not uh, come together too often. Quite often, we uh, come together to travel somewhere, but future. Stanislav, answering your question, we saw a lot of interesting things. Uh, mm -hmm. When we start to speak, uh, uh, we realize that there is a lot of interest in, in such a trip. I think the most productive is uh, to take a train and uh, to attend all, the, attend all those remote places. This is my statement for 
everybody. Mm -hmm. Now I would like to come back to the topic while we applied to IRF and why uh, uh, this region to, with special emphasis on Bessarabia. Not so many people know that this was the latest territory which joined uh, Ukraine. Uh, Bessarabia, this is a territory bef between uh, rivers Prut and Dnubo uh, and uh, Dniester. This is part of Chernivtsi region and part of Odessa region. Uh, how it happened, what are the uh, moods among population, and uh, Rastis, uh, Stanislav said correctly that they are not represented in the information field, and uh, no, uh, sometimes just tourist uh, destinations which are idealized. But when you attend those objects, they appear quite different from what is shown in the mm, mm, guidebooks. The uh, matter of our research is uh, not just to find something beautiful and uh, to decorate it further, but to find uh, something true, something very uh, genuinely interesting and uh, to feel this reality more deeply. Uh, any further comments? Maybe questions? Dmitro Pirkul, I would like to ask which five towns uh, did you ma do you mean? Which five towns for the second stage will be defined after we finish the first stage? In, during the first stage, we will visit more than five and to understand where we'll be doing something. What will be the towns? What will be there? Will depend on the first stage. Now we visited Belgorodnistrovsk and Fomenkatovsk, which is called Padilsk. Based back to this topic, Sasha can tell you about visiting the museum. We met uh, the person who initiated renaming how many cities, uh, towns, uh, I cannot tell you. We are going without any specific task. We can stay in one town, we can go to two towns around, it all depends. But thank you for your question on Pakrovsk. Podilsk. Sasha will tell you about meeting with the director of the museum. It wasn't the director, but the work of the museum and his the main uh, um, keeper of history, and he was digging the information why it's called this way. And he was the initiator of renaming of Katovsk into Podolsk. It had to be not just Podolsk, but southern Podolsk. Mm. And uh, he explained what's the origin of the word podil and uh, and it was called Virzula. Etymology of the word goes back to dark times. And he insisted that Padilsk is the correct name. We made the video, we recorded information on uh, the 
we recorded a lot of information and uh, when selecting the town we'll be contacting these people and we'll be working with this information. So the city of Podilsk is a historic region Padilla, which according to the good uh, Russian tradition uh, was made as a region, as a district. And renaming is the method to show its identity. When we were planning to go there, I read information about so-called Transnistria and Republic of Gagauzia. And I discovered some time machine, the scenarios that were implemented in the 1892, identical to the scenarios of 2013 in the east of Ukraine. Slow. Thank God the Gagauzia selected autonomy as part of the Republic of Moldova and Transnistria. We know how it finished, and for 25 years no one was talking about that, and that's all there. And uh, you could understand it 25 years ago, till it happened on the territory which is far from the south of Ukraine. Oleg Gonchar by phone wants to tell us a few words. Do you hear me? So please speak slowly. Good afternoon to everyone. You saw me now, you will hear me. Greetings from Lviv. I would like to add that we are communicating about our projects in uh, social media, in personal media. Follow the news of the project.
Kamienka. Журналістки, режисери дивляться наші фотки, переглядаються з потенційну локацію для сюжетів подальших і своїх матеріалів. Місто для нас сьогодні звичайно важливим підтримка Міжнародного фонду відродження, що вони в нас повірили в наші такі дослідження. Тому що дуже часто йде проєкти, від яких вимагається одразу наперед сказати, що ви будете робити, як ви це будете робити, де ви це будете робити, з ким і що це має бути, і результат пропустили від АДЛЯ. Я би додала, що досить важко в реальних Україні одразу наперед сказати відповіді на всі запитання, тому що процеси і досвіди, які відбуваються зараз, вони є Уникальними і ми маємо знаходити свої якісь рецепти в цих певних ситуаціях. Неможливо зробити хороший проєкт, який би дійсно мав величезні результати значення, упередньо не поїхавши, не познайомивши, не побачивши очима міста, в яких ти хочеш працювати, і людей, в яких ти хочеш працювати. Тому надзвичайно важливо в перших етапах всіх проєктів, ми також комунікуємо це, що починається з дослідження. Три роки тому назад на стейський напрямок приїхав на Донбас і фактично шукаючи абсолютно всіх партнерів, зараз ми маємо величезну партнерську мережу, якою дуже пишаємося цими зв'язками, продовжуємо їх. Сподіваємося, що цей проєкт відкриє нам ще одну звичайну циклав частину України до середини і через три роки ми бачимо можливо швидше таку ж величезну партнерську мережу і ще більше проєктів українських повідуть позавлянутися також із цим прекрасним краєм, який нас надихає. Ми дуже раді, що ми ще час, ми дуже багато сьогодні часу, будемо там працювати і творити. На цьому я завершую. Дуже дякую колегам. Всім гарної комунікації, незалежності від якості зв'язку. Інструментів є багато, ми їх будемо усіляко використовувати. Дуже дякую. Дякую, Олю. Дякую, Олю. Once you have no more questions, we will finish on that. Thank you all. Follow us uh, in the social media. There's a lot of space in Ukraine where you can go. Thank you. Thank you, our guests. Thank you, UCMC, and see you soon.